Hello everyone and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. Um, I'm hoping the video quality is fine now. I um, still have issues with the constant frame rate, variable frame rate, variable frame rate thing. Um, currently I'm basically transcoding twice, once through Handbrake to get a constant frame rate source and then putting that through Premiere to um, like to my editing, get the, the audio cleaned up, that sort of stuff. Um, obviously, yeah. transcoding twice means slight loss of quality. I'm hoping it'll be fine, though. Um, I tried using the Xtory, but it does not run all that well. It just takes too much, uh, too many resources. Um, so if I run the Xtory, I can not quite maintain 60 fps Can do. um while shadow play of course has a very minimal uh, performance impact now we had that um that room we found with the would-be thieves and we have to tell someone about the plot and that might be something that these sort of marshals or something this militia group uh, might be interested in So, uh, yeah, let's see. Oh, we can ask him about a place in the wilderness with colorful pools and a waterfall that rises. And he'll give me a map to the place for 50 coppers. I'm not sure if this is a scam, but 50 coppers is not exactly much. But he seems to know his stuff, so that's fine. Uh, do it here. Just character backstory. Okay. Again, I'm not going to look through those if that's something that interests you. Then by all means, go for it. And Osric might have a quest for us as well. For the last time, aid we keep your fucking blade up. If that dummy uh, was armed, it'd have your head off. Sure, I am looking for work, possibly. You want an expedition? Talk to Wenham. I just handle these mercenary shit shovelers. Uh, adventurers, I mean. Hmm. What do you need done then? I was formerly one of the Knights of the Crucible. When I left, they kept my arms and armor. The arms they can have, but the armor belonged to my family. I'd like it back. Um, okay, can't you just ask for it back? No, no. Not that like that, I'm sure. But I won't be going. Sooner be torn apart by dogs than give them the satisfaction. Okay, doesn't sound like you left them by choice. You don't choose to leave knighthood. The Crucible Knights, they may not be a real knighthood, but the oaths you swear are just as true. Still... Turns out that even unofficial knighthoods have politics. You cross the wrong man, suddenly all kinds of accusations are thrown your way, and nobody believes you. Okay, what's this armor? It's a breastplate. Not much to look at, and it's seen far too much use, but it's been in my family since the liberation. Okay. And then it's Penhelm you're looking for. A low snake of a man. If he was to die choking on his own black tongue, it'd be too kind of fate. He kept it when he had me kicked out. Um, okay. Having his soul lineage read? It's a requirement to join the Knights. They have to ensure an novitiate doesn't have a subversive lineage. If Penhelm's superiors found out his affidavit was a fake, his career would be over. Every novitiate gets an affidavit from Dunreed Row, and those are stored at Crucible Keep. If you find Penhelm's, one of those ciphers could tell you if it's real. Okay. Bye-bye, uh, then. 
So apparently there's a store somewhere here. We can find that map that we um, were talking about. This looks like a store. And uh, and this looks like a map room. Unlock with a small iron key. It's still marked red, but I have the key, so I think I'm allowed to do this. Why is it now considered stealing? Should be allowed to take this. I mean, I get that opening this is stealing, but he specifically told me I could take that chest or that map. I paid for it. I guess maybe it just the game doesn't update it or something. Anyway, good day to you. Uh, can I buy something? Okay. So I'll need to probably do that quest getting his armor back before they will uh, sell anything to me, which is fine. And also none of them cared about that uh, plot stealing stuff. Um, so yeah, one thing I noticed is that sometimes during loading screens the recording cuts out for a second. Um, it's never for long, but it's noticeable. Um, so if there's like a tiny moment where like my I'm, uh, like a word or so gets cut out of my sentences during loading screens, I'm sorry. I'll try not to speak during them. Um, possibly I'll just cut them out entirely, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll see. I was also going to check if maybe um, that uh, named guard at the gate. Um, I guess on the bridge. Yeah, maybe he would be interested. The Justice Justice Yar Forgand. Hail and well met. Uh, nope. Okay. Well then, oh, we've got the Searing Falls on our map now. We need to go there for some uh, side quest thing. So I didn't really think about cutting out the. Um, I warned you not to pet him. If I'm not supposed to pet him, why is he so soft? That's funny. Um, yeah, the loading screens are maybe 10 seconds long. Like That didn't seem to me to warrant cutting them out. Um, but apparently, that is not so. So I'll be exploring a bit more. We're also still looking for a possible way into that archive. And we are interested in finding out... Um, there's anything we can do about the the soul living in Eloth. So you know, we'll just be a bit of a we'll just do a bit of an explore episode. All right, I just spoke to you in the loading screen. Sorry about that. I'll try to remember. Hello. Um. Who are you? Okay, so what goes on in here? Nothing of interest there. I'm not going to try and steal anything here. If something is not marked as theft, then obviously. I am a hero after all. Oh, Dunstan. If this is about the breastplates, I already told Cleaver they won't be repaired till next week. Uh, what do you do here? I'm a forge master. I'm a master smith for the Crucible Knights. But the way I see it, I'm also keeping up with our old traditions. The first members of our order were smiths. 
Nowadays, most everyone's a professional soldier. I suppose it's to be expected, but I think it's important we keep up with our roots, too. Um. We were all smiths back in Hodrick's day, though I'm about the only one here who still gets his hands dirty. We're a fearsome fighting force, though these days I think Cleaver takes more pride in our parade formations. Okay, interesting. Henhelm. How do you do? Um, do you know someone named Osric? So what's the story between you two? I guess we should hear both sides of it. Okay, I don't quite see the problem. Uh, is that his breastplate you're wearing? Okay. I don't want to call him out on the affidavit being a forgery, because uh, I don't think that would work. Uh, does the journal tell me anything? It probably won't. Uh, Rogue Knight, I think? Yeah, I need to find his affidavit. I'm guessing that'll involve stealing? No, this, this is not stealing, apparently. Uh, this particular container, which I guess will contain the affidavit. Yep. Now I need to bring that to Kurun, wherever he is. Or she, I suppose. Okay, we have one more named character. Um, uh... Is something wrong at Heritage Hill? Um, hmm, maybe I could help. Sounds like a worthy side quest. Yeah, sure, it would be my civic duty, and after all, I am a lord. Well, at least I own land. Nice. Okay, so that allows us to enter Heritage Hill, which previously, I guess, the guards would have tried to stop us. And, uh... This is also not stealing. I guess we could put something on the altar here. The exploring these places also gives some experience sometimes. We just don't have the manpower. No, this would obviously be stealing. Uh, edict of arrest. And sure. <sighs> Refugees from every corner of the Deerwood. The dozens getting them all riled up about animancy. At this rate, we'll need twice the soldiers to patrol Defiance Bay. Yes, can I help you with something? 
Why don't you have enough soldiers? I'm just kind of gathering side quests here, by the way, so I might not do all of them. And it's also possible that for some of the side quests, I will look up solutions online um, to not stumble around aimlessly too much, because I don't think that would make for very interesting content. Fleetbreaker uh, Castle. The High Justice has summoned almost half of my novitiates and more of my justiciars to a keep on the other side of New Haomar. It's not for me to question the High Justice's orders, but it's left us short-handed. And mark me, we're just a couple sparks away from anarchy. Okay, so it's Justicia. Fair enough. Um... Can't you just recruit more soldiers? Okay, that sounds like a worthy side quest. So we have to go to the Scrivener's Dormitory, possibly find some research, and we might be able to use that to... Um... Can I open this door? I'm not sure. We might be able to use that to unlock the smith as a merchant. Well, we can use this door, nice. Squeezing her legs together. It isn't a parlor trick. Besides, she doesn't take orders well. She has backbone, that woman. Does it scare you? No, but I won't be responsible for what happens if you call her whore. It is nice that we get that sort of banter um, among the party members. I think that always livens it up. Um. Especially when you're just running around, you just get those little snippets. I don't think they really matter much. I think they won't affect the gameplay, but, you know, they're fun. Alright, let's head to Copper Lane, which is where that dormitory is. Hey, Allah, can I, uh... Talk to your, uh, you know, your friend. What is it about Isselmir? I'm right here, you know. No, no, you're both great. It's just, well, I feel like I don't get to spend as much time with her, and she's just so funny. <laughs> Some of the things she says are not nearly as funny when you've been hearing them for 50 years. They do seem to go on a bit about his visitor. So this would be stealing. I'm not looking to steal, of course. But if something isn't stealing, then I'll obviously steal all of it. Uh, Corrin, can I talk Greetings. to you? Oh, so he's high on something. You smoked a lot of white leaf, or did you get your hands on some snowcap? Okay, so he's very high. Uh, I'm looking for Vienna. Okay, anybody else? Because the ones that don't have names um, are not so relevant to me. 
Okay, so she's gone to Ondra's gift, which is, I believe... Um, let's go to the world map. Ondra's gift, yes, that's down there. Takes me to Brackenbury. Maybe that's how I can get there. So let's try and explore the rest of the city. Um, oh, and also Adair wants to talk to me, so we'll do that as we... When we're done walking to this gate, it's almost. It's almost now. Strange place for a shrine to Abidon, Crucible Keep. Maybe it made more sense at some point before it gathered all that dust. And the only thing the Knights of the Crucible worship these days is the nobility, as far as I understand it. Okay, so I mean, I suppose that kind of makes sense. You start the night, an order of knights. You eventually want to be recognized as such, and it's not like there's any particular reason why another order of knights would be better or worse. So, you know. mm. seems like some members still take their ideals seriously. So he appears to side with the guy Osric. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to get to uh, Andra's gift from back Brackenbury, but that's the path we're gonna take anyway. We have still not found anyone we can talk to about that um, a thievery plot. Um, this is an inn, I guess. Who do we have here? Tristwin. Tristwin. What are you on about? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Okay, um, I'll see about getting that medallion. Okay, I mean, as long as I'm only scamming the rich, and quite frankly, all I care about is if I can get money. I'm a very selfish person. Hanna Oirakos, Victor. Nope. Good day to you. Um. Do you sell anything interesting? I guess I could buy two camping supplies. Do you sell dragon egg a dragon meat dish? I mean, the effects are significant, but it's also very expensive. Okay. 
Ooh, we have some bandits. Hmm. Oh well. I guess we can't immediately kill them. Well met, friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can't ask him about the bandits either. Guessing he's not necessarily opposed as long as they pay. I've got Merwith. Okay. Can't do much more with her at the moment. Ooh, scroll of Tanglefoot and some copper. And it's not considered stealing. And I am a hero after all. I'm going to save the world or something. So these guys have a sort of yellowish coloring to their um, character names. Does that mean... Yeah, those seem to be the ones where I get the reach out for the soul um, messages. That's interesting. Okay, but that's about it here. And yeah, the characters where the name is a name and not just noble or waiter or whatever, um, they tend to have dialogue options that actually say something. I've never been to Nasatak. Is it very cold? What creatures wander the tundra? How are your leaders chosen? Do you always ask this many questions? Well, that's just to get us started. Let me get out some parchment for notes. Ask whatever you want. If I don't know, I'll make something up. Ah, oh, I like her. Sagani is kind of cool. Okay, let's test my theory. I expect these to be reach out to the soul NPCs. Yep, looks to be the case. Oh, there's a window up there. Um, well, I have grappling hooks. Oh, am I now stealing from the people? Am I now using the people's plan to steal? Game doesn't consider it stealing. Let's just quick save. Whatever. Seems like a sound plan breaking in to tell the peop tell the people about a break a break in. Okay, yeah. Lardy lar. Let's best not do that. I'm guessing if I clamp down the vines, there's a chance I'll snap myself. I so yeah. It. Let's see if I can maybe enter this mansion and tell them about the imminent uh, threat of people stealing stuff. Because while I'm not above taking everything that isn't nailed down, I want people to think I'm a good guy. Lord Raymond. Welcome. I have uncovered a plot to rob you.
Hmm. Oh, I don't have the intellect. Fair enough to get this option. Uh, the letter was signed AD. Does that mean anything to you? Ring of Unshackling. Cool. Um, okay, so what will you do now? Mm -hmm. So tell me more about the gem. Okay. So we were given a ring. A minor spellbind suppress affliction to per rest. Wait. No. Yeah. Uh, friendly AoE hostile effects suspended over five seconds. That seems helpful. Um Let's actually put that on Sagani. She can use that, right? Yes. Um, I mean, she's in the backline, which is, I guess, where I want to be using this from. But she's also most likely not to have something better to do, I suppose, because she mostly does normal attacks, whereas my main character has a few more abilities that could come in handy. Okay, well, this will certainly have helped our reputation a bit. With a few more quests, um, and yeah, maybe if we do a few more quests around here, we'll be able to get the to the archives, because the guy there said if he knew if we had a bit of a reputation, he might let us in. But uh, we don't, so he won't. And what do we have here? That's the other house. Uh, first fires. Hmm. Oh, not stealing. Okay, anything we can do in here? Maybe get those houses in fighting. Good day, stranger. Well, fair enough. Looks like my choice is to either kill everyone in there or ignore it. Uh, the sanitarium. Uh, that might be a place where we could find some help um, for Aloth with his, with his um, unwelcome soulmate. Uh, Two-sided. Head warden. Oh, so it's basically a human soul in the statue who's the head warden. That's interesting enough. Um, you may have a member of the leaden key in your midst. I don't know why. But anyway. Uh, 
Um, yeah, they're up to something, and I'm trying to t to determine what it is. Um, I think it's a patient because there was that to the um, there was a when we saw that vision there was something about like a guy who's imprisoned but uh, like voluntarily which kind of sounds like someone who might go to a sanitarium to be cured of something possibly that let, let, let's just roll with it okay so how have you come to be inside a statue Okay. Uh, does anyone here know anything about awakenings? Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, so I keep getting a um, addendum added to my two-sided quest, but I don't know. Okay, it just adds more points to the sort of current quest um, objective, rather than adding a new objective directly. So I can talk to these guys, but they're just nobles. I can't talk to this guy. I guess because he's giving a talk. It would be rude to interrupt. I'm also stealing one of the books. I don't want an appointment. I require assistance, I suppose. Uh, anyway, we were told to go downstairs. Uh, Bella Sesh. Welcome. Um, I'll... I'm looking for an expert on awakenings. <laughs> You're in luck. I have a volunteer. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have asked him, but anyway. That's a bit suspicious. <laughs> oh, she is funny. Uh, I'm wondering if we're just basically, if we just sold Aloth to like a human experiment. <laughs> I 
the poor guy. But well, he, he asked us to help, so that's what we're doing. Um, tell me about your parents. Yeah, talk about your parents. He's hypnotized himself with his old memory. You've got to bring him out of it. Um, what? I'm just going to try and comfort him? Oh, we got the lady out. Nice. Well, we have her actively controlling him, I suppose. Okay, what brought you here? Um, Aloth, ask her what she's doing. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, again, I'm not reading out the dialogue because it feels like bad form. Although it's very quiet at the moment because none of this is voice acted and there's no music playing during the dialogue. So, yeah, uh, you get my voice or nothing, I suppose. Uh, Isolmir, what exactly are you taking from him? Oh, ho, ho. So it turns out she's not just an innocent or, well, unwanted uh, intruder. It seems like uh, she can also help him when he's angry, basically taking over. <laughs> that's utter horse shit. I think that's Eloth, not the lady. Isolmia. Missing a D there, but her eyes are white and innocent. Yeah, let's remove his spleen. That sounds like a good idea. Um, yeah, she like from what we've heard, she shows up when when he's in trouble or threatened. Um, it 
the the first three options seem almost identical, but anyway. Yeah, let's go for the neutral option. Um, it's not necessarily a bad thing by the sound of it. Like she apparently can help him protect himself when he can't do it himself. Nice. <laughs> um hmm. see I would like an option to tell her to change his name or something um but yeah, it seems unfair to steal her notes now. It's possible that was a bad idea, but... Ah, okay, uh, can't talk to her anymore. Can do. Let's check the next room then. This isn't stealing. Let's leave that alone for now. Uh, let's talk to Mordred. God's keep. Um, has anything unusual been happening around here? What are you working on? What's a wish? Okay, so it's like um, a child born without a soul who then gets an animal soul. We've been attacked by them before, so that makes them slightly more sinister than just random, I don't know, creatures. It seems like an odd solution. So why do you study them? Okay. Uh, I've already got an expert on awakenings, I guess, but let's ask anyway. Hmm. So I guess I won't try and steal from him right now. Ripley? Greetings. Do you feel anything living inside you? Asking for a friend? Um, I'm investigating suspicious activity, I guess. <laughs> Middle of an... Okay, so themes le seems like things are not going entirely well here. Or, um, well, there's possibly some human experimentation going on. Yeah, let's let's press her on that. <laughs> That's a very reassuring knot. Um, how do I get into the patient ward? I need to talk to them after all. Uh, what do you do here? And looking for the expert. 
good. They just all tell us the same thing. And what do we have here? Essentially an empty office. Or oh, was there anything I could take in here? Yes. See, again, this is not marked as stealing. Um, that settled. Hmm. Oh, patient records. Oh, this might be interesting. A uh, female mid-40s awakened to a past life as a serial murder, which now frequently emerges as the soul's dominant personality. Subject vacillates between violence. Should this be oscillates? I don't know. Possibly not. Uh, vacillates between violence and severe depression resulting from guilt of past deeds. Weak candidate for present research. Interesting. Uh, subject is male, approximately early 30s. Powers of speech absent, presumably as a result of the overfragmentation of his soul. As such, he is the ideal subject for present research. However, experimentation has caused severe pain and induced panic. And I have had to enlist the aid of the guards in transporting him for more recent procedures. It sounds somewhat sinister. Uh, the Midnight Man, male, mid-twenties, acute dissociation and paranoid delusional tendencies causing anger and extreme violence. Dangers of working with the subject preclude possibility of further use in present research. And finally, Uskgrim, male, approximately seven years, appeared for episodes of catatonia, followed by occasional violent outbursts. Initial analysis of soul revealed severe fragmentation and essence deficiency. Set efficiency all but eliminates the possibility of you blah 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 blah. Okay. I guess we'll need to talk to the statue then, see if uh, he can somehow arrange for us to be allowed into the patient ward. And because we don't have the key to get in there. Hail and well met. Uh, found records that Azo may be running some questionable experiments. Okay. We can now investigate the patient ward. Oh, wait, there are events at the keep. Um, okay, so um, I've read about this. I am occasionally quests will show up in my keep, which I can basically do with um, like inactive party members. Um, so, for example, I could take the druid, who's not currently traveling with me, and assign her to do this quest. Also do a manual resolve of this attack. Um, I'm going to quick save before it, because I don't know what happens if I just click manually resolve here. Okay, so I need to be in Katanua to do that. Um, can I get there in two days? Um, I'm gonna do that simply because we basically had no combat this episode. So, you know, it might be interesting to see a bit of fighting. Although two days might not be uh, enough time to actually get there. Ah, the life of a traveler. Places to see. Indeed. So after five years, I'll okay, be right I'm just going to quickly head to Andra's gift to basically unlock the location on the map, I guess. And then we'll head to Kedenua. Okay, that's easily within time to do the defense of the keep. Maybe then I should also hire a new adventurer. Right for whoever has to clean up this place. Yeah, that would be me. Um, we're about halfway to the next level. 
But if I hire additional adventure, it's fine. Um, I could hire additional adventurers to um, do those side quests when they pop up, just to basically have some more options there. Maybe that would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, still working on that wall. But I can manual resolve this attack. Okay, let's take the bear and attack the bandit. Adair, you can attack a bandit. Durant, you can wait and you can also attack a bandit. Wow, Aloth went down instantly. That's worrying. Oh, I also didn't rest to restore his spells. Let's at least buff our damage resistance, maybe. And sure, focus on that. Can't get a good shot. And you can summon some skeletons. We'll then attack this bandit. So this is actually similar to what happened um, um, the the first time I got attacked when all of those dragons uh, started off with the fireballs. I think Aloth was also the same uh, the same guy who went down there. Um, it seems like yeah. clean up this place. you keep saying. Um, seems like there's a bit of an imbalance there. What do I have here? No. Nothing terribly useful. But yeah, uh, like the fight itself was easy, but they immediately took down Leave one of my guys. Me. It's Just a bit sad. However, we can quickly rest here to get all of our health back and remove the conditions. I think we also built... Um, yeah, we may have built something that gives us a sleep bonus. Sure, plus two survival, why not? I mean, resting here is free anyway. Yes, 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 you feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place, I am aware. It's funny, human skeleton has left the party. Uh, that's fine, let's head to Brackenbury. Mm -hmm. And go back to the sanitarium. So the keep upgrades. Um is going to be done in one day, five hours. Not sure what I'll do next. Oh, there's still plenty of upgrades I can do. And I have a decent amount of cash at the moment. Look 
killed so far from home. His brothers can be funny. I bet you'd be surprised how far they'd go. Yeah, I am trying to get uh, get acquainted to not talking during loading screens. It'll still happen from time to time, though. Flash construct. It's um, interesting. Why are you in here? <laughs> you can tell me I'm going crazy too. That might not work very well, but okay. Hmm. Try to cheer her up. Uh, have any of the patients been acting unusually? <laughs> okay, yeah, different from normal. I'm sure it's gotten quieter because they've been dead. Just saying. Okay, do you know where I might find Azor, Azor then? Can I go to the North Ward? Do you know about Azor? Uh, okay, what did happen to him then? There was an accident, apparently. He had figured out a way to create a soul. That seems worrying. Uh, no. Tell me. Right. I guess his uh, rejection hit him hard. Uh, flesh construct. Interesting. I think it's best we take away this alcohol from the mentally deranged people. And go to the lab. Find Azo, possibly. Oop, he ain't in here. A simple test. A simple test. Nope, no, he is here. What is 
the meaning of this? Oh, you're getting voice acting. That's nice. Um. Let's ask for access to the North Ward first. Hmm. Sure. Perception 13. That seems like the ones, the, the dialogue choices you get from certain abilities or traits or attributes, I guess, um, they tend to be useful. Um, so let's go with this. Your forehead seems damp all of a sudden. Perhaps I should discuss your insubordination with the head warden. You smug cretin. How dare you come down here and meddle? You have no idea the importance of my research. Okay, before I continue, here's my guess, which is just a guess. He's looking for people who have very fragmented souls. And I think his plan is to take some of those fragments and put them into the Hollowborns. Good, it'll do you. I'm sure the discussions will be fascinating. Um, so how are you demoted? <laughs> oh, he's gonna love us. Hmm. Expert on awakenings. <laughs> okay, uh, you're not supposed to be doing experiments anymore. Hmm. You toy with things beyond your beyond our comprehension. It's dangerous and foolish. Hmm. Are you from Rayad Ceres? Are you wide when himself risen to smite me for my heretical belief in learning who I am and why I exist? Please. You are afraid because men have taught you to be afraid. Because they were taught to be afraid. These things are only beyond our comprehension because of the fears of people like you. Who will solve Widewen's legacy? Some church? Some warrior? It will be an animancer or it will be no one at all. Have you tried your experiments on any other subjects? Okay. I mean, the the vision we saw, it said that the, the man was sort of voluntarily imprisoned or something. So I guess it makes sense if he volunteered for, um, for that, I don't know, experimental treatment or something. Uh, I don't think there's going to be anything in these cells, but let's check anyway. These flesh constructs are a bit weird, but apparently they're not actually unusual. Uh, is that everything? No, we can still go around here. That's the north ward where I'll go um, sort of at the end. Lockpicks. Why would there be lockpicks in here? a bit weird. Okay. Uh, Lord Bernwagar attempted to deal with angry peasants on his land with force, the show of cruelty inflamed the residents, and he was overthrown and killed. Well, we told him to be nicer. Remaining two turns. I don't know how the turns actually take place. Whatever. Uh... 
Okay, so we can't get into that cell yet. Maybe we will at some point. Okay. Well, he seems useful. I mean, we've read about the, we've read the case files for these people, so um, shouldn't really expect to be getting much out of them. Ah, Graham, that's the guy who um, apparently is also the uh, the guy who we're now going to be accusing of as being a spy, but. Uh, Yeah, I need to ask you some questions. Mm. Okay, let's try the perception one first. Uh, are you afraid of certain visitors? Okay, so his soul has definitely been damaged significantly. Uh, let's peer into his soul then. Uh, you're in your cell, a key turns. I'll just read it out, because why not? Uh, the door creaks open on neglected hinges. Thoughts come to you in waves, incomplete, broken, fearful. Standing at the door is a rotund, balding man. His upper teeth and pointy nose remind you of a rat. He beckons, apologetic. You don't want to go, anything else. In your mind is a single word, and the word is no. But it dissolves before it reaches your lips. You press against the back wall, cornered. You cry out. In darkness you fight against unseen restraints. You cannot move your arms or legs. The man walks into the room carrying a lit candle, its meag of flame casting long shadows across books and machinery. Straps bind your arms and legs. Cold metal circumscribes the crown of your head and the breadth of your chest. The man is sorry. He is in need of raw materials. They dismantled his work and he needs another source. He needs to show them he was right. He thanks you. Then he turns a knob and you feel yourself begin to crack from within and you can feel pieces of you torn away, like having your insides chewed by a horde of rats. And you are screaming a scream that you can barely hear. Um, okay. Um, yeah, reading out long monologues is not good for my voice, so I'll stop. Um, yeah, just pause and read it. And I'll try to kind of maybe give a bit of a summary, I guess. Oh, ho, ho. Well, from that story, it seems like there was a boy in here who kind of then collapsed and then something happened to a flesh golem, like the the flesh constructs. Maybe the spy went into one of the flesh constructs. These poor people. This isn't the treatment that they were promised upstairs by the cushioned seats and lush carpets. Is that the cure for soul sickness? To be thrown into a cell and subjected to the whims of your captor? Yeah, I doubt the wealthier citizens have the same experience. Hmm. Here's the source of all that knowledge you were so giddy about. That's maybe pushing it a bit. I also don't have the resolve for these, sadly. Okay, so he didn't seem to be angry at us, at least. Hmm. 
Well, let's reach out for a soul then. Hmm, okay, so the man was sabotaged by some sort of foreign soil, soul taking command of hollow bones and, um, yeah, leading him astray. It's interesting to know. Um, ah, okay, so the guy's soul is still in the boy. That's weird. He could have left. Oh, well. Um, I'm not sure if threatening to hurt us physically will do anything. I mean, he like used that hollowbone child to basically kill itself. and it didn't seem to worry about it. So, yeah, you made me into Watcher. I need you to undo it. He's gaining control of the flesh constructs. I guess we'll actually do. We'll actually have a uh, fight. Okay, we've lost some of our money to patient to um, to bandits, but we've also gained some taxes. That's interesting. Hmm. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh, we have gotten a Remembrance Ashes uh, friendly target revive with... Uh... Oh, that's interesting. We can revive people. Seven uses. That's not bad at all. It's called a minor item. Okay. Anyway, um, well, I don't think we have a choice. We're going to have to kill these people. Ok, 
Okay, let's have you AoE. I don't know. Here maybe? Why not? Wait. Let's have my backline move a little first. No. Aloth. Uh, AoE here, I guess. We'll uh, bow the flash construct. Uh, you can attack. Uh, sure, this guy. Uh, there you're knocked down anyway. Uh, do I want to do anything with you? I think I might want my backline to focus on this crazed patient for now. And you can quickly do a heal. And what else can we do? Well, we've got Batixa. She's near death, um, but she turned into a an elk thing. Interesting. Uh, backline attack her then. Adair, activate your buff maybe. Oh, I've got bonded grief from. Yes, something. Oh yeah, because my pet died. That's that's right. Uh, I thought it was maybe an effect from talking to some of these crazy people, but no, my pet died, so... That's to be expected. Okay, how about... I want to use your abilities for healing more than anything else, so let's stay with it. Oh, right, you can summon uh, some skeletons here. And my rangers will join in. Very hard to make out what's actually happening here. Um, but how about backline focus on this guy and Durance use your heal. Okay, um, sure, you guys focus on this guy. The back line will go for the flesh construct, and you can try and get another heal off. Uh, okay, that flesh construct's almost dead. We have lost some skeletons. Well, we've lost one, I think, so might as well be summon. Okay, 
I think we've got this now. Yep. Lots of loot as well. Although it's basically all useless loot. Leave it to me. Just uh, say the word. Anything we can do in here? There's 32 gold in the bucket in the cell. That's weird. Yeah, shame everyone had to die. Just say the word. You're mine. Okay, it's better to fight out in the open where we've got more um more opportunities to surround and get damage in and all that stuff. Are we looking? Not bad. Just say the word. You, you better run. We are affected by. Oh, that's the buff. Uh, that the chanter does. Okay. Oh, the little uh, beasts got out. There's still no danger at all. Okay, I don't need to worry in these small fights about using skills and such. It uh, seems not to be... Uh, Necessary. Okay. I'm wondering if that could have ended differently. These guys really don't seem to matter much. Wonder if the researcher is still alive. Uh, yeah, you've been experimenting with patients against their will. See, the thing is, we know why you succeed, why you failed. Why can't we just tell him? Hmm. Okay. The thing that happened with the with the little girl killing herself was mostly not his fault. So we don't know if he might not have succeeded uh, if he hadn't been sabotaged. Um, Sure. Good. Good. Then we have an understanding. I promise you I won't waste this opportunity. Okay. Interesting. Well, we certainly found the spy. Yeah, you feel free to run away. I do not blame you. Uh, it's complicated. A patient of yours, Uskrim, was working with a leaden key, only without knowing it.
<laughs> yeah, there was no loss of innocent life. Ahem, ahem. Um... Yeah, he was only trying to help. The leaden key took advantage of him. It seems like a solid choice. Right. Um, we have many other side quests but um yeah i think at this point i'm gonna end the episode it's been like an hour and a half um i hope you all enjoyed it and i'll see you again soon bye bye